Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here on this Friday night. It is the Earth Master in with an update video. I uh, got some earthquake activity right now coming into the Oklahoma area on this Friday night. Uh, it is showing up here on Yellowstone. Um, for those that have earthquake apps and whatnot on their phone, this is coming off of a 5.1 earthquake here in Oklahoma. Look at that. Goodness. A decent sized earthquake being reported by the EMSC. Hasn't been picked up yet by the USGS. I'm sure they will get to it, but that is a decent size earthquake. So we'll go to their site for right now and uh, see what's going on out here across the Oklahoma area. 5.1 Oklahoma coming in just a few minutes ago. Now let's go ahead and click on this and see what we got. Quite a few folks, uh, I guess, reporting that already. Um, started with a terrible rumbling under the foundation and shook the entire house and continued 60 seconds rattling through the house and roof. Goodness, so looks like I uh, got some um, testimonies coming in there to the EMSC model. USGS, I don't know what's going on here. Look at this. Nothing being reported from them yet. Um, so uh, it's possible, though, looking at this seismograph station here across Yellowstone. Yellowstone's, uh, you know, a decent ways away from Oklahoma, right? That could be a bigger quake, uh, a little bit bigger than a 5.1. So the USGS obviously picking up on it uh, for as uh, far as the correct magnitude. I don't know if anyone here in the chat has felt this earthquake, but uh, if they did, uh, let us know here in the chat room. Uh, if you're in Oklahoma or whatnot, let us know here in the chat. If you felt this earthquake here that uh, just coming into the Oklahoma area, I do see a, a decent little spike of viewers coming in right now. So let us know here in chat where you're at, what it felt like, and uh, whatnot, because there's not a whole lot of information coming in right now from the USGS. Uh, sometimes they're a little slow, but most of the time here on these uh, local earthquakes, they come in uh, fairly quickly. So just kind of waiting uh, on the um, specifics of this. Again, 5.1 earthquake coming in to the area. Looks like central Oklahoma area. That is a uh, definitely a decent earthquake. About uh, six kilometers deep. 5.1. Let me double check here on the map and see exactly where this is at. Uh, normally, I don't use the EMSC here for local earthquakes, but considering they are the only ones right now picking up on it, goodness. Um, earthquake location, let's see if we got that here. Looks like it's just outside the OKC area. Uh, fairly close there to the region. Uh, and again, the depth there is about 0 to 40 kilometers uh, on the yellow star, but it looks like 8 kilometers up here. 21 million inhabitants in a radius of 400 kilometers from the earthquake. Possibly this five, you know, five pointers are felt fairly broadly out there um, in that area of the country. I don't know what's going on with the USGS here, folks. So, um, <laughs> goodness, that's a little odd. Let me go back to chat here and see what we got. Um, it says USGS has reported it, but I'm not seeing it. Where's it at there? Am I off here? Let me double, let me open up uh, another monitor. It's not showing up there. Seven days. Maybe maybe it's on the seven day map. Nope. Is it on the uh, one day? It's not. I'm not really not seeing anything there, Timothy, on the USGS chart here. At least on my end, uh, it's a little odd. I shook house for at least thirty seconds. Thanks, sir, Jennifer, for reporting that. Uh, Felt in north central Kansas. Goodness, all the way up there. Okay. Uh, felt a ripple seismic roll. Thanks, sir, uh, for reporting that. Uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma felt it as well. So definitely some uh, some shaking going on out there. Let me click on that and see what's going on there. That is so weird. So I see it reported here. I uh, definitely appreciate that. But why is it not showing up here on the on this map here? What's going on? That's a little weird. Okay, so as of right now, it has been reviewed. 5.1, 6 kilometers northwest of the uh, uh, Prague area of Oklahoma. Not a whole lot of responses coming in right now because it's really not even showing up on the map. I don't get it. Um, Timothy, where are you getting that uh, 
that info from there. Okay, so Timothy getting it right before it goes through the systems. Yeah, Jennifer, um, I think you mentioned Shook House for at least 30 seconds. Knock stuff off of the walls. Jennifer is there in the uh, epicenter area. Yeah, Timothy, obviously in the future it looks like. Uh, Prague, is that right? P-R-O-G pronounced Prague, is that right? I thought it was Prague. Prague, Prague. Okay, maybe that's right. All right, either way, uh, thanks for the uh, correct pronunciation there. Um, but uh, it has been reviewed, supposedly, according to the latest information here, the event page. Timothy, head in the future. Goodness. Well, that's kind of why I keep the EMSC uh, data up here as well, just so we can get some uh, other earthquake activity from different agencies. But I am a little shocked here that the USGS is not reporting it, you know, at least here on their map. Um, on my earthquake, let's see here. I did get a notification here from, uh, I think it is the USGS on my earthquake uh, app on my phone, showing us a 5.1. But uh, like I say, it's really odd that it's not showing up here. It's just strange, right? I know they're updating their systems and whatnot, but uh, goodness. So yeah, that showed up pretty nicely there across Yellowstone. Look at that. Yellowstone, Wyoming even picked up that seismic signature. So even though it shows that it has been reviewed, it's possible this thing could get revised. All right, so for now, 5.1, not quite ready to do a complete update yet, but uh, we'll come back here in a few minutes and get that taken care of. Um, now I just got it here from the USGS. Okay, 5.1 coming in outside the Oklahoma City area. So that should be uh, showing up. There we go. We got it. Finally came in here. Goodness, that's a distance there. Uh, not too far, maybe about 40 miles outside the OKC area. Six kilometers deep here from the USGS. And um, kind of wondering what's out there, guys. West Prague? Now, that's correct, right? I, I don't want to <laughs> really slaughter that name. Prague, uh, it's pronounced Prague or Prague. Prague, maybe? I don't know. But uh, let's see what's out there. Kind of looks like a bunch of oil fields. At least it's mentioned on the area of the map. Looks like some communities out here. A couple houses. But uh, when you look on the terrain here, uh, it does mention the um, oil fields just down here to the south. Uh, historical data. I wonder if we got any earthquake activity historically, specifically in that region. I don't think so. Well, actually, I'll take that back. Look at that. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. There's been a handful of earthquakes specifically in this area historically. Um, since about 1900 or so, up to maybe another five-pointer in that region. So, all right, guys. Well, again, uh, let me know where you're at specifically. Uh, let us know in the video and in the comments what it felt like. We do appreciate the scientific uh, information that's coming in there. And, of course, we'll cover this all in more here in just a little bit with the uh, Friday night update. Stay safe out there, folks.